Welcome back, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are combining decimals. Not just positive decimals, but also negatives. Alright, when combining, a few things we need to make sure that we do. Uh, the first is that we make sure that we know if we're, you know, adding or subtracting them. You know, I don't like the words adding and subtracting, I call it all combining. Uh, but it's important to know, are we, are we dealing with positives or negatives? You know, who's got more on their team? We've talked about our tug of war before. Okay, that's going to be real important. Also, making sure that we line up the decimals in a straight line and that we use placeholders, especially when we're subtracting. It's going to be a big deal. Let's look at some examples of combining decimals together. Here we have negative 9.47 minus 3.88. Uh, these are two negatives, so we're going to add. When they have the same signs, we're going to add and keep the sign. I am going to rewrite them vertically just because I think it's easier to keep everything uh, nice straight lines, especially the decimal. I think it's easier when I write it vertically. And because they have the same sign, I am going to be adding these. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my decimal straight down into my answer before I even do any combining, just to make sure I've got it in the right place. All right, from here it's just adding 7, 8, 15, carry the 1, 13, carry another 1, and 13. But remember, even though we added these, we added negatives. So this is a negative 13.35. 9.47 on the negative team, 3.88 on the negative team. That means there's 13.35 on the negative team. No positives to deal with here. Let's look at another. 0 0.023 plus negative 4.5. I hate that there are two signs in a row, so I'm going to rewrite this in OSC form, one sign combined form. 0 0.023, adding a negative, same thing as subtracting. Okay, one sign combined form, that's much better. I, know, I now know that I've got a positive and a negative that I'm dealing with, so I'm going to be subtracting my numbers. The thing you have to make sure and remember is to keep the bigger one on top. Well, technically it's the one with the greater absolute value. I just like to say the one that looks bigger, okay? 4.5 is a it's a stronger number than 0 0.023, so it has to go on the top when I'm subtracting. And again, the reason I'm subtracting is because I have different signs. This is a positive, and this is a negative. Different signs subtract, and use the stronger sign. Alright, also when subtracting, real important that you have placeholders. A really common mistake that I see is just to do like this and say, oh, well, that's, that was bigger, so it's negative. And no, that is not okay. Not okay. We're subtracting. We've got to have these placeholders here. Which means we're going to have to borrow. It becomes a 10. We've got to borrow again. It becomes a 9. Now that one's a 10. And oh, I forgot to bring my decimal down first. That's what I meant to do. Anyway, 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 2 is 7, 4, 4. And my bigger number was negative, so the negatives win. Negative 4.477. Okay. The, uh, the adding and subtracting decimals you did in elementary school, you just keep them lined up. Uh, the negative part is the new part here. And I've got another one that needs to be written in OSC form. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. And here it just looks like we've got two positives to combine. 46804 plus 9.3. Make sure those decimals line up. 
Can do some uh, place placeholders, some ninjas. If you need to, they're not as necessary when you're adding, but oh, you gotta have them when you're subtracting. And we get a positive 56.104. Last example we'll do together, negative 0 0.4 minus negative 3.1. Put an OSC form, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. And now our signs are different, so they're going to be subtracted. Going to put the stronger number on top. I'm subtracting these, so we're going to need to borrow 2.7. And let's see, the bigger number was positive, so I will leave it as positive 2.7. All right, so you've done combining decimals in elementary school. We've talked about how the negatives work already this year. Uh, we're just combining those, putting them together. Two things you already know how to do into something something else okay if you have questions write them down we'll talk about them in class see you soon